very good morning to all my viewers i always get time as an excuse for not having fulfilled my commitment finish my act on time very late i realized that time is the only thing that is available equally to all of us may it be any place in the world to super rich to struggling person each one of us have same amount of 1140 minutes in a day it's we who get lazy or become ignorant towards time whoever complains about not having time to get their work done should get up early life is about getting up and are early to live an hour more isn't this so true today i would be talking on my thoughts about living in present we are so busy watching all the words just the ahead of us that we don't take time to enjoy where we are and i am no different Today we planned a short outing with Pogo. The place is called Vadwana Lake. It's about 90 minutes drive from the city center. The place is very popular bird watching site. It is home to various species of exotic birds that come every year in big numbers. The best time to visit here is November till March. We got up early in the morning today as we wanted to see sunrise from the place. temperature was pleasant and this is very unusual for popo to see us moving around the house so early i'm sure he was wondering if he'll be joining us or not the early morning drive was very pleasant and popo's happiness could be found seeing how high his ears were flying we could reach the place before sunrise and being there on time made me very happy and motivated I am someone whose brain is super pumped up all the time thinking about all the next step in the activities I do. Thinking about future is not bad thing, but that should not become a way to live life. Overthinking of everything also makes your life boring and exhausting. I have been inside the house for most of the time in this last 9 month of lockdown. Things have been monotonous in a way. Days have been repetitive for a long time. I may find numerous reasons to be upset and disappointed thinking how better my life and year could have been, but it's equally important to see the bright side too. This lockdown has taught me to take pause in life periodically. This helps us to know if we are in right track in life. Living life could be like driving in a highway unless you have GPS set. You will never know when to change lane and take a turn. I have understood the importance to appreciate the things that I have, respect and to love others like I mentioned in previous vlog. When you start living in present, you start connecting the things with heart and mind. that will give us message about improving and doing things more meaningfully Let me tell you a story today. Peter was a young boy who could never live in the moment. When he was in school, he dreamt of being outside playing. When he was outside playing, he dreamt of his summer vacation. Peter constantly daydreamed, never taking the time to see with the special moments that filled his day. One morning, Peter was out walking in a forest. 
Feeling tired, he decided to rest on a patch of grass and eventually dozed off. After only a few minutes of deep sleep, he heard someone calling his name. Peter! Peter! came the shrill voice from above. As he slowly opened his eyes, he was startled to see a striking woman standing above him. She must have been over 100 years old. In this woman's wrinkled hand was a magical little ball with a hole in the center and out of the hole dangled a long golden thread. Peter, she said, this is the thread of your life. If you pull the thread just a bit, an hour will pass in seconds. If you pull harder, whole day will pass in a minute. And if you pull with all your might, months, even years will pass by in days. Peter was very excited by this new discover. I would like to have if I may. He asked. The elderly woman quickly reached down and gave the ball with the magic thread to the young boy. The next day, Peter was sitting in the classroom feeling restless and bored. Suddenly, he remembered his new toy. As he pulled a little bit of the golden thread, he quickly found himself playing in his garden. Realizing the power of magic thread, Peter soon grew tired of being a school boy and longed to be a teenager. With all the excitement that phase of life would bring, so again he held the ball and pulled hard on the golden thread. Suddenly, he was a teenager with a very pretty girlfriend named Elsie. But Peter still wasn't content. He had never learned to enjoy the moment and to explore the simple wonders of every stage of his life. Instead, he dreamt of being an adult. So again, he pulled hard on the thread and many years flew by. Now, he found that he was transformed into a middle-aged adult. Elsie was now his wife and Peter was surrounded by his kids. But Peter noticed something else. His once jet hair, jet black hair had started to turn grey and his once youthful mother whom he loved so dearly had grown old and frail. Yet Peter still could not live in the moment. He had never learned to live in now. So once again he pulled on the magic thread and waited for the change to appear. Peter now found that he was 90 year old man. His thick dark hair had turned white as snow and his beautiful wife was no more. His wonderful children had grown up and left home to lead life of their own. For the first time in his entire life, Peter realized that he had not taken time to embrace the wonders of living. He had never gone fishing with his kids or taken a moonlight stroll with Elsie. He had never planted a garden or read those wonderful books his mom loved to read. Instead, he had hurried through life, never resting to see all that was good along the way. Peter became very sad at this discovery. He decided to go out to the forest where he used to walk as a boy to clear his head and warm his spirit. As he entered the forest, he noticed that the little sapling of his childhood had grown into mighty oaks. The forest itself had matured into a paradise of nature. He laid down on a small patch of grass and fell asleep. After only a minute, he heard someone calling out his name. Peter! Peter! cried the voice. He looked shocked to see that the old woman who had given him ball with the golden thread many years earlier. How have you enjoyed my special gift? she asked. At first it was fun, but now I hate it, he responded bluntly. My whole life has passed before my eyes without giving me the chance to enjoy it. Sure, there would have been a sad times as well as great times but I haven't had a chance to experience either. I feel empty inside. I have missed the gift of living. You are very ungrateful, said the old woman. Still, I will give you one last wish.
I would like to go back to be a schoolboy and live my life over again. Peter quickly responded and then fell asleep. Again, he heard someone calling his name and opened his eyes. Who could it be this time? He wondered. When he opened his eyes, he was absolutely delighted to see his mother standing over his bedside. She looked young, healthy and radiant. Peter realized that the strange woman from forest had indeed granted his wish and he had returned to his former life. Hurry up, Peter, you sleep too much. Your dreams will make you late for school if you don't get up right this minute, his mother shouted. Needless to say, Peter dashed out of the bed and began to live the way he had hoped. He went on to live a full life, one rich with many delights and joys, but it all started when he stopped sacrificing the present for future and began to live in the moment. I'm sure we have learned a lot from the story. The scenic sky with rising sun, birds flying, chirping around us, cool and fresh breeze of countryside is something nature is offering us daily. But how much have we paused to admire and accept this gift? We toil whole our life to get peace in the last, while we are missing out to see that peace exists from day one. Just that we are blind from our mind, not valuing it in first place. It's the same sun that rises and sets daily throughout the hemisphere, but the admiration makes the sunrise or sunset different and beautiful experience any day. No doubt they say meditation is best format of yoga to increase your mindfulness and concentration. Ultimately, what we are doing is taking a pause and appreciating the presence. That is the power of present. Yesterday is over and tomorrow may never come, so live for today. Situations can be challenging, days could be hard, but it's up to us how we live the moment. Not all storms come to disrupt your life, few come to clear your path as well. The trick is to enjoy life with what you have now and not wish away your days waiting for better ones ahead. It's not how much we have, but how much we enjoy that defines the happiness.